diabetics always have to worry about their blood sugar levels. After all, the most important thing is your blood sugar level. Keep your diabetes under control and you can avoid health problems. But some days, your blood sugar can rise no matter what you do and you have to take it down fast. The best amount of glucose should always be between 90 and 160. But if it goes over the line and gets as high as 240, this is bad for your health. So, besides keeping an eye on your blood sugar levels, what are some other things you can do to lower your blood sugar? In this video, we'll show you our 5 best ways to quickly lower your blood sugar. But before we get started, let's look at the top 5 things you can do to help your blood sugar. Beginning with number 1. Drink water. 70% of our bodies are water. When your blood sugar level is high, the sugars in your blood become too concentrated. So, the body tries to get rid of this extra by flushing it out with pee. Unfortunately, because of this, it is easy for your body to lose water. To fix dehydration and lower your blood sugar levels, all you have to do is drink more water. Experts say that people with diabetes should drink 9 to 12 glasses of water each day. This is the same amount of water as 3 liters. In a recent study, 3,615 people with pre-diabetes were given two different amounts of water per day and watched by researchers. When the test was over, the results showed that people whose blood glucose levels were lower were those who drank more water every day. So, if you drink more water, make sure your body gets rid of the extra sugars and drink enough water. Number 2. Fiber is good for you. Eat fiber. If you have diabetes, you have likely been told to eat more fiber. Fiber is a type of food that makes it longer for glucose to get into the bloodstream and it helps to clean out the gastric system. There are two types of fiber, insoluble fiber found in legumes and vegetables and soluble fiber found in whole grain foods such as oats and lentils. Both are important parts of your diet if you want to bring your blood sugar down quickly. One of the Good Academy studies was that they were given a meal with a lot of grain twice a day. At the end of the experiment, experts saw that souls could quickly get their blood sugar back to normal after eating. What does that mean for people though? Well, studies on humans have shown that eating more fiber cuts down on calories, makes you feel fuller, slows down the uptake of nutrients, make you feel healthier, and so on. As a result, blood sugar spikes are less likely to happen. So, if you have a high glucose levels, try adding more fiber to your next meal. Number 3. When you have diabetes, it can be hard to get a good night's sleep. High blood sugar can make it hard to sleep, but not getting enough sleep can also cause your blood sugar to stay high all day. So, even though you can quickly check your blood sugar levels throughout the day, it's also important to keep an eye on how you sleep. If you have hot flashes, restlessness, a steady need to go to the bathroom at night, or mild insomnia, you may have menopause. It can make it hard to get the rest of your body needs. After looking at more than 700,000 people, a study from 2013 found that hyperglycemia is more likely to happen if you sleep less than 7 hours per night. Experts say that setting aside time to rest can help bring down your blood sugar. You can do this by turning off devices, meditating, setting a time for a nap, and sticking to a pattern at night. Doing the following two things can also help you sleep better. Number 4. Change the size of your cervix. Your blood sugar level probably goes up right after you eat. Even though this is common, if the numbers stay high all day, it might be a good idea to look at what and how you eat. When blood sugar stays high for a long time, most of the time, it's because diabetics snack all day, eat quickly without chewing, have an uneven plate. A study done in 2013 found that eating two big meals a day helped lower blood sugar. They saw that this way was better for diabetics than eating six small meals. But it might not work for everyone to eat a lot of food. So how can you change what you eat to quickly bring your blood sugar down? While it is best to talk to your doctor and the chef to find out what your body needs, you can try reducing the number of snacks you eat, changing the size of your meals, and spacing them out. With these steps, your digestive system will be able to use the stored glucose in the best way possible. So, give your blood sugar levels a chance to stabilize and go down on their own. Number 5. You know it's important to quickly bring down high blood sugar. And working out is one of the best ways to do that. When we work out, our muscles contract and burn glucose for energy so that our heart and lungs can keep up with the demands of the workout. As a result, this process lowers the amount of sugar in the blood. So, what kind of exercise lowers your blood sugar the most? Experts say to exercise for 30 minutes at a moderate pace. 
also known as a snack for working out. They say that light jogging, walking, dancing, or strength training are all good for you, are a great way to gradually increase your exercise and lower your blood sugar levels. On the other hand, you might want to stay away from intense exercise. These kinds of actions can make your blood sugar drop quickly, which can lead to low blood sugar and hypoglycemia. Overall, the fastest way to bring your blood sugar down is to change the way you live. I hope you learned something from this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the bell button for more upcoming videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below. Thanks for watching.